Hey, what's up guys, it's Brian. So I'm about to show you a time-lapse video of the first landscape painting that I ever did without the help of any type of tutorial or anything like that. Really just totally on my own with a reference photo. I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, so without further ado, check out Holy Country. All right, let's get started. So I started here with a little bit of a sketch of just the basic general shapes of this mountain landscape that I'm going to be painting here in just a couple minutes. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I love so much about mountains, I think something that draws me to them is just how massive not only their size is when you're standing in front of them actually in person, but also just the knowledge that or the thoughts that seeing mountains conjures up within you. Because for me, when I look at mountains, especially the Himalayas, you're looking literally at hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years of slow, slow progression to get the mountains to the point that you're actually seeing them in this moment. And that's something that always blows my mind because you're, you're looking back at history. You're looking at hundreds of thousands of years of slow, tectonic, geologic progressions right in front of you. So it really puts in perspective just how massive not only this world is, but this universe is, and how infinitesimally small your place is within it. And paradoxically, that notion, because a lot of people will look at something and get that sense of just the, the size and the, the, um, the size and the scope of just how big and how long these mountains have been around and how short they've been around, but it also helps you feel special. It helps you feel... Um, feel miraculous almost in a way that you're even existing and able to comprehend that beauty and that that power and that size so I've always had an affinity for mountains and the Himalayas are a place that I want to visit for so many different reasons um, spiritually they're a a source of great spiritual power and significance for so many different cultures in the world um, they're known as the birthplace of Shiva and um, different, you know, Hindu gods. They're known as just a place of real intense spiritual power just because of the majesty of the mountains and the desolation of the environment around them and the wildlife that's able to thrive in that environment. It's just a really humbling, humbling place. So I was really excited to do this painting and uh, kind of pay tribute to them. So I really do consider them a holy country. Uh, also, the word or the, the title Holy Country comes directly from a song by a singer-songwriter that I really, really love named Trevor Hall. He has a song actually about Nepal um, called Holy Country. It's a really deep song, so definitely check it out if you haven't. But basically right here what I'm doing is, you know, I've started blocking in some of the basic colors, not really worrying about any details at this point. This is actually the first painting that I've done where I haven't used a tutorial or someone you know, on YouTube following along with another painter doing a piece. So I really was fumbling my way through this and just slowly finding my way through with every brush stroke, making a lot of mistakes on the way, um, leaving the painting after hours of sitting and doing it, feeling like it's so far from being finished. And I would go over the same spots over and over again, just trying different things to try to get it to look more like the reference photo. And after going through this and spending probably about close to five hours on this painting, I got it to a place where I, I was pretty happy with it and happy finishing it. Um, something I'm realizing about painting is that you've never really done with a painting. You have to find that sweet spot where the piece is finished and polished to a point where you can feel comfortable and proud of it. But you're always, if you look at something with a critical eye for long enough, you're always going to find different things that you want to tweak and change. So part of the magic of doing art, I'm finding, is just knowing when to stop, when to say it's done, and not to do it too much, not to overpaint, which I think I did a little bit here with this painting, and I think there's also parts of it that I could have done more with, but I'm overall very happy with how it came out. So... Here, you know, I'm getting closer to the end. I'm adding some more fine details, um, just kind of blocking in and, and really making the effects of the snow and faraway snow fields look a little more believable. Um, just going over the same parts again and again, adding some more stark white to give some highlights. 
uh, the light source on this reference image, from what I can tell, is coming over the ridge and the foreground on the left of the painting, and it's casting a shadow of that ridge in the foreground left down over the planes below it. So I'm trying to get some highlights in here to create the effect of the light hitting snow, but then also I'm going to go back over and darken um, some of the shadow area to create that effect where you see me doing here uh, of really making that, that front, that foremost ridge right in the front of the foreground of the painting cast that shadow over the ground beneath it and, and, uh, and behind it. So I'm just going through, adding more little details, um, just adding some browns, some different shades of some of the dirt that's in the painting, and taking my time with it, just enjoying the process. It's such a, a nice, relaxing thing to do to just sit down and turn off your phone and just focus on a painting for a couple hours and shut the world out and really connect with yourself, with your mind, with your creativity. Um, one of the cool effects that I've been playing with and trying to add to this piece is the effect of some clouds swirling around some of the mountain peaks, both in the middle of the painting and off to the sides. And the way I did that, I looked at a couple things on YouTube to try to figure out a technique for that, is just taking a totally dry brush, putting a little bit of paint on it, like barely any, and just lightly wisping the bristles of the brush on the canvas to get that light kind of foggy um, mountain top with just little faint wisps of clouds uh, forming around the edges of the mountain. So overall really happy with how this piece came out for my first landscape piece where I wasn't using a tutorial. Here's the finished product. I uh, hope you guys liked it. That's the reference photo right there and I think I did a pretty good job for the first one. Definitely a lot of space to improve. Definitely looking forward to doing another one really soon. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some more art videos. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me kind of talk about in these videos that's not related to the process of doing these paintings, since I am quite a beginner, um, I love to talk about anything related to mindfulness, meditation, uh, spirituality, um, artistic expression of any kind and just life in general. So if you've got any questions or suggestions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.